Where can you actually see a live comedy show in person with people inside of a venue right now and actually be a part of the show? Welcome to Grand Rapids and Beyond. I'm Rick, and today we're checking out The Comedy Project. In this episode, we're getting an all-access tour of The Comedy Project. We're also going to go behind the scenes to talk with performers as they prepare for their show, Battle Bots. And you'll learn how you can be a part of the show. Stick around. All right, so we're inside the Comedy Project with Joe Anderson, and he's going to give us a quick little tour here. Yeah, so this is the Comedy Project. This is our bar. We have uh, the biggest moonshine selection around. That's kind of our thing. We knew we weren't going to win a beer fight in Grand Rapids, so we just figured we'd go right for the moonshine. Uh, so we've got a ton of moonshine, full bar here. This normally would be kind of like the lobby hangout area, but of course during COVID, no one can hang out. So we send them into the theater. Oh, this is our cool box office. Uh, it's part of a metro train from Chicago. Dude, that's uh, a sweet box office. Yeah, I love it. Look at that. It, it was like this like, engineer car from a metro train, and uh, we got to set up for our box office. Again, we're not really using it right now during COVID, but it's still sweet. That is the coolest box office ever. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so this is the theater. Um, so we, uh, we normally seat about 80 people, 85, um, currently we're uh, only doing 25 uh, with the capacity rules and restrictions. Uh, we've got a, a skylight up there, uh, so we, uh, we, we created this giant curtain uh, so that you know when we needed to make it dark we could and so that uh, retracts back so when it's nice out we can still have all the nice sunlight coming through. Um, yeah, so this is the stage. We've got um, one of the things we did during the shutdown because we were like, oh, we got some time on our hands. Uh, we, we put trap doors in the stage. So we uh, have some magic acts. Yeah, a little bonus fun. All right. Very cool. This is one of the uh, little access doors uh, to get to the trap doors underneath the stage. Wow. Some of these murals were here before the shutdown, but then a couple of them we. Again, took the opportunity of being shut down. Um, so like all this crazy conduit wires on the walls there and over there. That happened while we were shut down. And then uh, this guy named Steven came in and did uh, that one for our merch thing too. Giant robot wearing our hoodie. Uh, I know the cast is backstage kind of getting ready for tonight's show, which is BattleBots, uh, which is uh, a real fast paced kind of like, whose line is it anyway, comedy sports kind of show. How was the uh, how was the first time coming back? Was it weird or was it uh, was it like a, a brand new thing or were you uh, just kind of like a spring waiting to you know shoot off because you've been waiting so long? <laughs> you got all all this pent up energy. You want to get out there and, and kind of perform, but you're also like, I haven't played games like with people in front of people in I don't know months. Like when you get the immediate response of somebody laughing or not laughing, to get that again was very nice. It was hard to like control like how silly you wanted to be. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> you, you know, you, you get on the stage and you're just like, this is my chance to be a weirdo and then we haven't done this for what, how long? Months and months and months. Yeah. So then all the weird has been building up. <laughs> you know, that makes for a better show, I right, think. Exactly. Yeah. I uh, had a dream, and here I am. Well, now, I think you can just look in my eyes, you'll know what I mean. I always think of it like jazz or basketball, which are pretty similar. Like You do both of those regularly? All the time. I play a lot of jazz and I play a lot of... No, I don't... Really <laughs> Should everybody expect Well, we're going to be dressed to the nines, <laughs> and uh, we're going to make you laugh, and we're going to make you feel better about yourself. And that's live performance, right? And the improv and comedy and theater and all those things. And jazz and basketball. And jazz and basketball. <laughs> you get to be a part of the audience. I'm really sick of the weather. What's something you're sick of? COVID! <laughs> These were props that were going to get used. Those have been here for two years. Really? These are uh, sustainable items to keep people through a pandemic. <laughs> Nothing like some bacon bits, condensed milk, and crispy beets. And then Legos to entertain you. <laughs> At some point in the performance, you might have a moment of inspiration and ask yourself, can I do this? 
Could I get up on stage and perform? Well, if you do find yourself asking this intriguing question, don't worry. The Comedy Project has you covered. Uh, new classes happen about every couple months, and so you can register for a class through the website. And we're, we try to go on the news and do lots of stuff on Twitter and Facebook to let people know when there's new classes coming. So is this where you do the improv classes as well? Uh, we do classes, we actually have three places where we can do them. So we do improv classes here, and then there's another pretty big classroom behind the theater. And then we also have a room out there that we normally use for uh, the writing classes. Because we also do a bunch of comedy writing classes. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Can we see the big room too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's go check that out. Now, what about, uh, so virtual, do you do virtual in this room as well? What's your virtual setup? Uh, the virtual classes are, are we're just, the different teachers have their own setups, usually at home. I mean, I guess two of them sometimes use the office. Okay. Um, Is it through but, Zoom? Yeah, we're using, okay. yeah, we just, we have a, whatever, a business Zoom account, yeah. We're actually in March, our next batch of classes, we are doing, the improv classes are in person, they're just smaller numbers, and they're still masked, um, and, and socially distanced. You play some music here, and one of the coolest things right here, <laughs> we got some they're awesome... Giant. Yep. Giant Muppet props. Yep, full body costumes. Yes. Yeah. Essentially, I mean, they're essentially furries, um, but we're using them as <laughs> like our mascots or something. So hopefully nobody takes them home, right? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Who's improv for? Oh, I mean, improv really, it, I mean, you don't want to sound like goofy about it, but I mean, it, it's for everybody for different reasons. Why did you get into this? I used to teach. English to children in China, and I said, this is basically like being a clown. I can be a clown, and I wanted to get into improv, and then I asked him, Joshua, to do uh, improv classes and find an improv night in Grand Rapids with me in like 2015 or 2016, and then uh, here we are now, five or six years later, and it's awesome. I got into this because my job was really boring, and I wanted to do something fun with my fans. So here I am. Uh, I'm a big old theater nerd uh, from like the day I was born, basically. Uh, parents are both artsy folks, and uh, I just grew up doing it and wanted to do it more when I got into college. So it just was a natural uh, incline, incline from there. That's the right phrase, right? Incline? Yeah. Yeah. People said I was funny, and I didn't believe them, but I like to uh, do funny things. And so I talked to uh, who is now the creative director here, and he's like, you know, you can take classes for that. And I was like, like, whose line is it anyway? And he was like, yeah, like that. And I took classes, and years later, here I am. It's, it's, it's a way to be creative. It's a way for adults to play pretend. So I, I get to be my inner child. From a training center standpoint, we want, you know, like all the people that are doing our shows, they're from here. And we need, we'll need more people. And so following the model of like, you know, Second City and Groundlings and UCB, we, you know, we just created this training center. A, a woman named Amy Gascon, uh, who had gone through the, the, uh, the conservatory at Second City, helped us create this whole curriculum for our training center. And so we've got, yeah, improv classes, uh, comedy writing classes, and they've been just received so well by people. Come on down, and even though it's limited capacity, yeah. the will open up soon, and you can come out, and you can see the shows here, and if you really want to, take a class. Yeah, right? yeah, we'd love to. We'd love to meet you. Have you come out and try comedy or, or see comedy? Whatever, whatever you need yes. to do, come out. Yeah. Yes, that's the moral of the story is come out yeah. and have fun and enjoy. And the, I think the what everybody was saying earlier is they're done with Zoom. Yeah. Uh, as far as yeah, Zoom trying to be people. Thing, yeah. yeah. So Zoom fatigue. Yeah. Get rid of it. Come on out here and, and have some fun. Thanks again. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. you. Thank you. Don't worry, we'll sanitize. Yeah, we'll hands. sanitize and we should have. But yeah, we we'll get right. in the moment. Thanks. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and give us a big thumbs up. 
Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. That way you get notified every time we put out a neat new video about Grand Rapids and beyond. Also, click the next video.